today I'm going to show you how to make a combination lock. I originally saw how to do this in a Rolf David video. I'll post a link in the video description if you're interested in seeing the original. Here's a demonstration of what the finished product is going to look like. Going from left to right, the combination is 1, 3, 2, 4. However, in your designs, you'll be able to set the combination to whatever you want. Okay, let's get started. To build the combination lock, you're going to need to use the following circuits. You're going to have to use RS NOR latches as well as AND gates. If you haven't seen either of these videos or need a refresher, I would highly recommend reviewing them because both circuits are going to be important in the design of the combination lock. The main circuit in the combination lock is the RS NOR latch. You're going to need to use one RS NOR latch for every digit in the combination. I use four of them for a four digit combination, however you can use as many as you want simply by adding more NOR latches onto the end. Since the circuit is going to work from right to left, I've labeled the NOR latches accordingly for when I refer to them in the future. Before we get started, there's a couple of things to make note of. First, there is exactly two spaces between the first and second NOR latch as well as between the second and third NOR latch. However, due to circuitry I'm going to add later, there's three spaces between the third and fourth NOR latch. Also, I have placed a button on input one of all four NOR latches. Those are just for demonstration purposes and won't be needed in the final design. I also have a button placed on input two of the first NOR latch. That's to reset everything. You'll see me use it later on. It's actually quite simple to turn these four separate NOR latches into a combination lock circuit. The trick is to go from right to left and connect output 2 to input 2 of the next NOR latch, like this. With the NOR latches connected like this, we already have a basic combination lock. The combination is 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't worry, we'll, we'll scramble that later. The way it works is NOR latch 4 can't be turned off until NOR latch 3 is turned off, which can't be turned off until NOR latch 2 is turned off, which can't be turned off until NOR latch 1 is turned off. With the basic combination lock in place, the only thing left is to power something once the combination has been entered correctly. You're going to want to attach anything you'd like to power to output 1 on NOR latch 4, or the last NOR latch in the lock, right here. Let's attach a door to the lock and see what happens when the combination is entered correctly. Now that the combination has been entered correctly and the door is open, you're going to see me use the reset button on the first NOR latch. At present, there's no way to reset the lock without pressing this button. Later on, I'll show you how to build in an automatic reset. Now I'm going to show you a couple of deficiencies with the current lock design. When I press an individual button out of order, such as button number 2, it will reset automatically. However, there's a very big issue with this lock because although individual buttons will reset, the lock as a whole will not reset if you press buttons in the wrong order. This means that you can randomly press buttons and eventually the lock will open. The next issue has just been demonstrated. If you activate the last NOR latch out of order, it will send a pulse of power to whatever it is that the lock is powering. This is clearly something that we don't want to happen. 
The final issue we're going to address with this lock design is the fact that you have to continuously hit the reset button to reset the lock. We're going to automate that. We're going to fix the first issue by adding a couple of AND gates. These AND gates will send a pulse of power to the second input on the first NOR latch whenever a button is hit out of order. This will cause the entire lock to reset. Let's have a closer look at this concept because it's very important and is used quite frequently when building circuits. For the purposes of this demonstration, you'll notice that NOR latch 1 has already been activated. You can tell this because output 2 on the first NOR latch has been turned off. Now, let's activate NOR latch 3 out of order and see what happens. As you can see, not only did NOR latch 3 reset, but because of the AND gate, NOR latch 1 reset as well. Let's have another look at that, only this time I'll slow things down and explain things a little more thoroughly. The way AND gates work is, the output is only powered when both inputs are powered. So in order to use the AND gate to reset the locking mechanism, we have to create a scenario where the only time both inputs of the AND gate are powered is when someone's pressed the button in the wrong order. This AND gate is associated with NOR latch 3. In its default state, which it is now, input 1 is being powered and input 2 is not being powered because of the use of an inverter. When you press NOR latch 3 out of order, Input 2 on the AND gate will become powered and thus reset the entire mechanism. To confirm that the AND gates don't prevent the lock from opening normally, I'm now going to enter in the combination properly to show that the door will open. And now, let's fix the second issue. We only want to provide power to the door once the entire combination has been entered, and we don't want the last NOR latch to provide power if it's pressed out of order. Now, one of the reasons I said AND gates are so important is because we're going to use an AND gate to fix this problem. With the AND gate in place, the only way the door will receive power is if this section is powered off, and this section is powered on. The only way for that to happen is to enter the combination in properly. Just a quick note on the redstone repeater. That's in place with a maximum delay in order to prevent the door from opening if you were to press the third NOR latch and the fourth NOR latch really quickly together. And now let's test it out. With the AND gate in place, you'll see that you can press the fourth or last NOR latch as many times as you want and the door will not open. The only way to make it open is to enter the combination in properly. Before I show you how to reset the lock automatically, I'm going to show you how to scramble the combination. In order to do that, we're going to set up the four buttons that the user will interact with and then run redstone wiring to the appropriate NOR latch. First, you need to build something that's two blocks by four blocks with an extra two blocks sticking off the end and four redstone repeaters. The next layer will just be a row of one by four blocks with a button on the front of each block. 
And now it's just a matter of running redstone wire from the appropriate button to the appropriate NOR latch. From right to left, I'm going to use a similar combination as seen in the example at the beginning of this video. The combination is going to be 1, 3, 2, 4. And now I'll show you the redstone wire run separately and then combined together. There's no big trick to running the wire. The main thing you have to worry about is making sure that your individual wire runs don't interfere with each other. In order to do this, you can use three techniques. You can either run your wire below other wires, you can run your wire above other wires, or you can use redstone repeaters to allow your wires to run in parallel. Now let's see what happens when we punch in the combination correctly. And last but not least, let's have the whole mechanism reset itself once the lock has been unlocked so that you don't have to do it manually. I'm using a trick similar to the one I used in my RS NOR latch tutorial. All we're going to do is when you press the last button, in addition to unlocking the lock, it's going to send a pulse down a separate line through a string of redstone repeaters with a maximum delay and that will eventually feed into the reset line that resets the whole mechanism. And now let's have a look at the completed lock mechanism in action. The only difference between this example and the last one is that the door will now open and then close shortly after you enter the correct combination. If you like this video tutorial and would like to see more, why not subscribe to my channel? That way you'll be notified when I upload new ones. If you had any trouble following along in this video, I'd highly recommend you review my AND gate tutorial as well as my RS NOR latch tutorial. Having a better understanding of how the individual circuits work gives you a much better understanding of how they work in the larger project. You can also download a copy of my world. I've posted a link in the video description.